Oh, hello there. Water of Fire on Instagram asked me to do a tutorial on my makeup. First up, as you can see, I am very, very oily. I have extremely oily skin. So I'm going to start off by taking some micellar water and getting that stuff off, which is before I do makeup. If I've already like spent half my day having done the whole cleanse tone moisturize thing, um, and I don't want to overload my face again right before a night out. I take off the, the oil with micellar water or toner or whatever and then I use a wee hyaluronic acid facial spray which I got from Superdrug um, which I don't know if you have that in the USA um, but this is our sort of chemists here, pseudo chemists, they don't really do medicines in the same way that uh, boots does or anything like that. Anyway, that gives me a wee bit of moisturisation and then I flap my hands around, which is actually fun. It's quite stimulatory it's for this. Sometimes I have a fan, but that's at my desk where the lighting is terrible. <laughs> so, how am I going to start off with this? Well, first, my face still feels a little bit tacky, so I'm just going to let that go. But I'm going to find myself my primers and, uh, yeah use the same primer that I have been using for years because it works um, for my eyes and that is Urban Decay um, backwards that's the that's the ingredients there you go it, it's this stuff there you go and I just kind of go nyeh, nyeh. Uh, and that stops my skin from getting so oily on my eyelids that all of the color just comes and goes all over the place by the way that's you that's you right there you're watching me through this um, you can see I'm, I'm like professional. I'm, I'm brilliant. I'm brilliant at these makeup tutorials. I've just, I'm always prepared. So prepared that I have left my facial primer at my desk. So give me two seconds. I'm back and this is my, uh, facial primer here. A wee bit of this squishy stuff that goes on the fingers like this. And, oh, there we go. There's some. Um, only a wee bit. And then just focus it on the T-zone. Just go like that and then smear it all over the face hooray good am i am i yelling i think i'm yelling so uh some people like to start with their eyes so that you don't mix up my their foundation i just like to do things in layers and deal with the consequences so we're going in with the foundation uh i'm going out tonight um and so i'm going to use something a little bit more long lasting um this one is um decay all nighter because Kat Von D is an anti-vaxxer and also her makeup sucks on my skin. So what do I need for this? Um, I put a little bit on the back of my hand. Just one pump will do it. It's probably more than enough sometimes. Um, take my sponge, which I've already pre-moistened. I also use a stippling brush depending on how I feel. And then instead of doing this in my phone camera, I get my mirror and I look at what I'm doing. Um, and I just dab it all on. As you can see, it's quite pale on me because my skin is so red. Um, but this is what helps it match my neck, you see. Um, you see? You see it's starting to match in there? Is this interesting to you? Is it, is it interesting to you to watch me, like, pummel myself in the face with a sponge? You know, comment below. Tell me. Am I a hot mess? This is one of my favourite brushes for blending. It does have that wee dip in it if you're using drop foundation, but I actually don't really like using that for drop foundation. I prefer to... Um, I, I apply it with my fingers rather or occasionally I drop it onto the face but that's messy and you use too much but I find that this bit becomes very difficult to clean if you're constantly dropping um, foundation into it because this is a very dense brush which makes it great for blending so I give my face a wee pass over with this so what do I do next see I'm forgetting these things now I don't know why I'm forgetting this but um if I take stuff out of the makeup bag, it's easier to use. Uh, I think I'm going to do my eyeshadow, which is the part that everybody gets excited by. Now, <clears throat> because I'm going out, I'm going to use a slightly stronger thing. And I don't go in for blending with five million colours. I just go in for a purple, used liberally. So, um, I'm going to use this uh, brush. Yeah. I think this was Makeup Revolution, um, it might be e.l.f., but basically it's this sort of loose, fluffy brush. It's a, it's a fluffy brush, it cost me like two quid. Um, and I'm going to take 
the purple one from this palette, which is the Pretty Little Palettes vampy one, it's a stupid name. Uh, but I love the palette, I do love the palette. I just find makeup names to be embarrassing to say out loud. Um, this is called Crush, by the way. It's, uh, it, it, it's purple, slightly shimmery. So, I load up my brush, and as much as it'll I need, I usually go, start heavy and then go lighter. Uh, leave my head up, close my eyes a bit, and just go into the crease at the corner here, and I just start wiggling the brush around. It's not very technical, this part. It's based on the cut crease, except I then I don't do what I see a lot of people do, which is cover the whole lid and then waste half of it by just covering it with concealer. Um, I just like a sort of smokier, more blended version, which fades in and out and kind of does its own thing. Um, as you can see, I've done this halo over the top. I just follow the crease of my eye. I go around and around and around and around. I blend upwards more than downwards, but some goes down and then I go outwards. And I just keep blending until I'm happy with the results. Hey, I'm happy with the result. There you go, brilliant. Um, and then I take a wee bit down under the eye. You see, I do this all with one brush. I mean, I could probably do this. Uh, God, I'm chatty today. So as you can see, I've just done a big ring of purple right round here, and just all the way around. It's great. Um, now uh, I'm feeling slightly fancy. So I might take a lighter purple. Ooh. Hmm. No, actually, I'm going to take a deeper purple. Uh, same brush, and it's... Oh, God, this is what... Yeah, it's a Freedom Makeup Pro Decadence palette. There you go, rock and roll, that's what it's called. Um, and I take this deep purple right here. And I just do a wee dab because it's quite pigmented. And uh, I darken up this little corner here. And I bring that down into the into the area I've not really done before. And then finally, I go back to this palette, and I'm feeling silver today. So just take it with my finger. This is just a bit of silver. This one here, and um, yeah, just fill in the rest. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be right back. That is mostly symmetrical. Fantastic. We can move on. So um, I tend to do the eyeliner last. Don't know why, but I do. Um, so now I'm going to do my brows. Uh, my brows are already reasonably defined. I just want to make sure that they are a little bolder. So I'm using... Again, just do what you like with your brows. They're your brows, but I'm using Glossier Boy Brow in the, the, the black colour. So, because I find, because it, it basically matches up with my old way of doing things, which was to just uh, wipe a mascara wand through my brows. Um, this is just a little softer. It's a little bit less thick and heavy, uh, but it still gives a nice finish. There you go, that's one brow. You can see the difference there. So it just basically fills it in without being really heavy and like outlined, which I'm not really into uh, unless I'm having a period where I've shaved all my eyebrows off, in which case I go nuts because it's all outlining. Yeah, yeah, love it. Right, great, fantastic. We are almost done, ladies and gentlemen. I just need to do the thing. The thing being my eyeliner. Hey! This is um, this is Ellie Spa Splash Architect Slim Eyeliner. It's um, pretty waterproof. It stays wherever you put it. Uh, I've had the dog lick me full force in the eye and it stayed on, so I'd say it's a winner. Uh, and it's on the, ch the more affordable end of the spectrum for eyeliners of this quality. So again, just do, do your eyeliner however you want. I start at the corner and do the flip first, roughly following the angle of my eye, but not quite. That is not even, and I'm okay with that. So, what am I going to do next? I am going to do my waterline. And the waterline goes something like this. You take this, which is Maybelline Gel Eyeliner, the best gel eyeliner I've come across, and then you 
rummage around for ages until you find where on earth you put the brush for it because I'm a professional. Right, <laughs> I used the brush that came with it because because I do. Just take a wee dibby dabby dibby dabby with the brush end, not the sponge end. No one uses a sponge end. Why would you use a sponge end? Um, and just poke myself in the eye until all the waterline spilled in and then try and connect it roughly with the eyeliner I've done before. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I was after. Fantastic. Oh, today is just all positivity. Now let's go for a little bit of highlighter. That's about as far as I can go with contouring. Uh, so I will need a small fluffy brush and this is Revolution Makeup Haunted Lights Highlighter. It has a little skull embedded on it and it has this nice sort of shimmery iridescent almost green glow to it. Very Halloween-y. I love it. Um, just blow that onto your brush. Don't press onto your skin and just go boo boo dee boo dee boo dee boo dee boo dee. Woohoo! Yeah, there we go. Just dab it there. I don't care if it gets everywhere. I just, I just, I just want that sort of eerie shine. <coughs> Powder. Coaty air spun because you can get loads of it. Um, let's take the top off. Put this puff over here. Tip -a -tip -a -tip -a -tip -a there you go, shake a little bit into the lid, like so. Um, and then I take this flat-headed kabuki or or a puff or a sponge because because I have oily skin, I like to press it in first into the areas that really tend to slick up first. So the T-zone. If you've got a puff, you do the whole press and roll technique and really pressed into the makeup but this is a slightly lighter approach that still works it into the foundation without moving it and again use loads use like tons by the way like setting foundation just use as much as you fancy and brush the excess off if you're like me I'm getting that I'm just gonna go around and highlight because I think I'm quite happy with it. Mm -hmm. And then I take a fluffy one and I just very, very lightly sweep up the excess. I don't want mascara. Just try and Scrape it off on the edges here. Again, use whatever mascara you love, hate, or are indifferent to. Um, I don't do lower lashes. That's just asking for trouble. What do I have left to do? Mm, lips, which I've just left on my makeup table. Okay, so for lips, I'm doing purple surprise um and it's gonna be la splash studio shine lip luster in amor eterno which is from their dia dos muertos collection from a few halloweens ago and i absolutely love this shade it's a uh, bright but dark it's a sort of metallic purple and it's lovely yeah yeah i'll do it perfect happy with that uh, yeah, that's the finished result. Um, obviously I've not done my hair and I'm wearing whatever scabby t-shirt I have on, but that's how I do it. So, hope you enjoyed that, and now you know. Now, you know.